to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. one that God has used to bring this meeting together and sincerely speaking it is a privilege to serve Jesus any opportunity you have to help people see him to help people know him it is a privilege that should never be taken for granted whether we are alive or not Jesus remains alive and his purposes will continue to advance so it is a privilege for us to be part of what God is doing. And sir, thank you. Please help me honor our father, Reverend Etioye. Thank you. Thank you sincerely. Hallelujah. I also want to appreciate every man, woman of God here. The Lord bless you. Particularly our father again, Bishop Onubogu and our mother. God bless you, sir. Bless you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while standing, um, it's going to be a quick one tonight. There are three sessions of this meeting right now. Number one, I will have a few minutes to teach the word of God and just charge our hearts. Number two, I'll also spare a few minutes to just speak over our lives. But number three, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are we in agreement? So that prayer, the prayer point is going to be the teaching. The moment the teaching is done, there is no prayer point again. We're going to begin to pray in the spirit diligently, at least for the next 30 to 45 minutes. We're stretching no distraction whatsoever. Sound and to blow the trumpet like Prophet Joel said. He said, blow the trumpet in Zion sound the alarm upon my mountain now everybody is coming from everywhere everyone is claiming i will be part of the lord's army but it's a mixed multitude the first test is what is the level of your conviction that means if you stay five years without results will you still believe what you are doing if the lord tells you that your womb will have a prophet and for five years you've not given birth to a child can you still stay and say I am in that army the Bible says no man who places his hand on the floor and looks back is fit are we learning something now so the Bible says 22,000 32,000 minus 22,000 is what can you imagine if we are to use these statistics it means literally half of all the people who shout hosanna one day can stand and say crucify him so when you are having a triumphant entry and everybody is shouting hosanna be careful because most of the people there are a mixed multitude it's easy to be carried away by the impulsive passion of men we will stand by you we will serve the lord we will do all of this together oh we will take the nations for jesus i remember many years ago on campus you would find I'm, I'm sure many of you have had these experiences you would find several people maybe campus fellowship presidents and you find people with levels of zeal as though if in one week god does not anoint them they would destroy the whole world 10 years later you will see some of those people they are not even born again you stumble across a brother who was on fire when he was on campus what suddenly happened if you are fearful 
and you do not have the staying power you can go back can i tell you this in this journey of thy kingdom come in this end time god is not forcing men there are men who will actually say i am satisfied being born again i don't want to be useful the bible calls them vessels of wood and of clay they are all in the house but in a great house there are categories of vessels all of them are called vessels but there are some that are unto honor there are some that are unto dishonor these are the vessels unto dishonor if you feel you are tired of ministry after four years of seeming lack of results and you no longer can stand upon the confidence of what you heard go back home go back home does not mean you backslided go back home means God can replace you with someone else can I tell you this I assure you that in this end time there will be replacements there will be replacements there are people who out of their volition will come and say Lord you know what I am tired I've given you what I think is my best but this Christianity thing is not going anywhere I remain satisfied that at least I will make heaven but as far as being at the center of your program is concerned, I am not interested and God will respect their will. So don't be surprised that you can see people on fire today being used mightily by God and tomorrow you'll find out that it looks like that fire has gone down. They are still Christians, but they were part of that 22,000. But if you truly came for this conference, you must obtain grace from God to pass that test. And Lord, I'm not going anywhere. How big is bowing down all of the days of my life? How big is bowing down all of the days of my life? How big he serving you all of the days of my life. How big he serving you all of the days of my life. That I'll be worshiping. All of the days of my life, I'll be worshiping. All of the days of my life, that I'll be loving you. It's all of the days of my life, I'll be loving you all of the days of my life listen when i started with god i bounced the bridge behind me no going back there is no possibility of going back i've lost my ability to say no to god it's an ability that i surrendered at the altar can i tell you this the move of god that is coming just because you are aware that God is using men does not mean you'll be part of it it will take men who are bold bold enough to be controversial and yet comfortable bold enough to lay down their reputation and be comfortable bold enough to be called stupid and yet comfortable bold enough to be said something is wrong with you we are sure you are a loser bold enough to take the mockery Bold enough to take the shame. Test number one for that army is the test of courage, the test of conviction. There are men and women of God who got into ministry because all their contemporaries were in ministry. There are men and women who got into ministry because everybody around them was a Christian and they felt obliged by reason of relationship. But can I tell you, in the formation of this army there will be a test of conviction please give us that scripture again Judges 7 verse 3 a prophetic blueprint to how God's 
God's prophetic recruit system whoever is fearful and you go listen to me whoever is afraid please verse 3 let him turn back right now because there is a realm you get into there is no turning back ah. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. So now, a journey that started with one man evolved to 32,000 people by the sounding of the shofar. Now, the first test of diligence of conviction of courage reduces them by 22,000 give us verse 4 let's hurry up now but the Lord said the people are still too many he said bring them down to the water and I will test them for you there then it will be that of whom I say to you, this one shall go with you, the same shall go. And whosoever I say unto you, this one shall not go with you. So that means just because you pass the test of conviction and courage still does not mean you will make it. There is yet one grand test. And I'm, I'm about to reveal it to you. That is my assignment here tonight. When I do that, I will pray for you and we'll begin the prayer session. Verse 5, very quickly. What is the test? He brought the people down to the water. You have to understand that these people had been climbing a mountain. They were thirsty. They were tired. He says, now I'm about to bring one grand test. Bring them to the water. And the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink. I show you a mystery. Verse 6. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down to their knees to drink water my goodness and the Lord said unto Gideon by the 300 men who loved I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand let all the other people go every man to his place two tests that everybody who will be used by God in this end time must pass through number one is a test of conviction a test of courage a test of determination to go all the way but the second is the grand test please look up the Lord said this one Gideon I will test them myself and he brought them and said drink and he was watching their attitude in the presence of water please look forward look look up please water to a testy man represents comfort Water to a testy man represents that which your heart seeks, the desires of your heart. He said, now that I've tested your conviction, I need to test your heart. But I cannot test your heart absence to your desire. I will bring you before what you really want and watch your reaction there. And so he said, let the people become testy when they were so testy. He said, now bring them where there is water and watch how they behave. Watch this. There are those who stood and laughed like dogs. There are those who knelt there. Those who knelt there were those who became distracted because of the comfort of the water. Now that I've found water, I don't want to leave this place again. And since my feet is my instrument of motion, I kneel down by camping there. And he said, you've missed it. Just because I opened the door for you, just because I brought you fame, just because I made you the head over your family, instead of lapping like a dog, still with that sense of vision, you have camped around your success. 
and forgotten that there is an agenda bigger than your success a test that everyone who wants to be used by God in this end time can I tell you fame is like that water comfort money all the things that your heart desires I understand your passion when you are poor I understand your passion when you do not have a crowd I understand your passion when the nations are not placing a demand but in the presence of greatness can you still be focused on what brought you to the journey Gideon these men are too many I want to take glory out of this mission so one last test what's their attitude in the presence of water water represents hope water represents comfort I know you fasted and prayed while things were not going well I know you fasted and prayed because of obvious attacks but right now you have a protocol that is moving you around right now you have the luxury and the privilege every system and every structure has accredited you can I tell you this look at me I came here with a prophetic message do not fail the test that made only 1% of the people who started that journey only 1% or less than that out of 32,000 people ladies and gentlemen it's hard to be used by God oh, don't let anyone deceive you being available is only step one you must be usable there is a screening that God himself the way he screens you is not to say my son give me your heart the way he screens you is to bring everything your heart desires before you and says let me see your attitude but there are people here tonight who will stand before fame stand before anointing stand before ministry and sing my treasure my priority who can compare to you truly great is the measure of your royalty O morning star you truly are everything yes sir there is no man born of a woman who will escape this test you cannot pray it away this is what Jesus meant when he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism there are many people in our generation who see God using many people mightily and think they are just lucky they just love God no sir there is no luck in this thing the price for life is death the price for all of God is all of you bring them before water and watch their attitude for those who stand to just lap like a dog they are saying lord thank you for the prosperity but i can't come here because i'm on. i i was going somewhere before i met prosperity the journey was not prosperity i was going somewhere before i met fame the goal was not fame i was going somewhere before i met the anointing the goal was not the anointing so not fame not the anointing would distract me I remain focused and he said Gideon find those men watch them it takes time to find those men you don't find them in one day just because you were exposed to wealth one day and you are still fasting no it takes time time will prune the purity of your motive can I tell you this God is very patient because patience is a virtue that forces deception to reveal itself one thing with deception is that it cannot suffer long if your motive is wrong eventually there is a cost of followership let's round up Luke chapter 9 from verse 56 hmm. Luke chapter 9 please give it to us quickly media 
Luke chapter 9 from verse 56. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village, the Bible says. We're reading to the last verse. Now it happened as they sojourned on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. Here was the response of Jesus. Foxes have holes. Do you know what that means? They have where they camp and don't go anywhere again. Birds of the air have nests. When they find nests, they don't go any other place. That means out of this crowd in this conference, if we are to walk based on that ratio, please, my prayer is that let me be wrong in that ratio. That let it not be that only about 1% of the people listening to me now will pass this second test. It is God's desire to use everyone who is available. But there is a test. Followership comes with a cost. With the 300 men, plus Gideon, God brought victory for himself. Now I want to pray for you. And then when I pray for you, we're going to get into a prayer session for the next 40 minutes. Lord, prepare me. Sanctuary. Pure and holy. Tried and true. We thanks I'll be a living sanctuary. Hear me. I want to make a quick altar call here right now. There are people you came for this conference and you're saying, Apostle, if I'm to vet my life based on the sincerity and the purity of heart I can honestly say that I have not even answered that call I'm not even among the 32,000 people you are saying I want to make it right with Jesus we have just one minute for you wherever you are you've heard the teaching there is no need cajoling you I want you to leave your seat and quickly please come and stand here I will only count one to three afterwards we'll be seated there's no reason to be ashamed run to jesus i will count one to three and we're done one let's celebrate them as they come two that you are coming to jesus to say i discern what you are doing oh god and i don't want to waste my life living a purposeless visionless life i am ready for jesus hallelujah please lift your right hand all of you here i appreciate you for the boldness and the courage to come to jesus it is never too late for as long as you are alive to make it right with jesus and i don't want you to do what you're doing just emotionally let it be from the depth of your heart if you're coming run quickly and come and join them say this prayer after me let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus one more time say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight like Gideon and the other men of the armies I've heard that trumpet and I have come to you take me mold me use me for your glory I declare based on the authority of the word of God that I have the life of God I receive you as Savior Lord and King I declare that I go forward ever and backward never I am a child of God amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come to you responding to that call you are giving them a new beginning and lord i pray based on the authority of scripture that everything that represents the power of sin satan hell and the grave let it be broken over their life in the name of jesus i declare you recipients of eternal life and i pray that the lord himself will take you from glory to glory 
in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you do they return to their seats or are they counselors okay now here's what i want you to do for me they are counselors and i want you to just follow them please wave your hands whoever is leading them let them see you just wave your hands hi okay god bless you please follow them very briefly in one or two minutes they'll just have your details and then you'll be back hallelujah let me pray for you and then we'll begin the prayer session now listen what i want you to do instrumentally is once i'm done praying and speaking everyone you're going to take out time is part of the conference hold on to the four horns of the altar and it's going to be an exclusive prayer session for at least the next 30 minutes are we together now let it be a time of prayer what is the prayer lord break me lord use me you are praying in the spirit prune everything from my life that can become a distraction whether it is fear whether it is lack of conviction or whether it is the deception of success and comfort both failure and success can do the same thing to a man if allowed are we together now but let me pray and speak over your life father in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead over this assembly standing in partnership with the faith upon our father i decree right now and i declare for everyone who is weary you are tired in your christian experience and you are trusting god for strength may strength be administered to you tonight in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that everything that represents a distraction to your christian experience let it be far from you right now for those of you who are sick in your body i decree and i declare over you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be healing right now if there is anyone here having any terminal disease i rebuke that sickness now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that anyone who is oppressed by any manipulation of demon spirits by reason of this conference i announce your deliverance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you that your love for jesus will burn it will grow from glory to glory to glory in the name of jesus christ hear me that everything that stands as an idol everything that has brought destruction and has deflated your passion for god in this conference let there be a restoration finally lift up your hands i want to pray i always do this and even though i have a minute or two just to do this before our prayer i believe that there is someone here who came trusting god for unction for a new level trusting god for grace some of you you have begun with god but you just need that strength that encouragement i want to pray for you right now just one minute i'm going to pray for you you don't have to bring them out the power of god will come on a few people and once that happens it will usher us into the time of prayer i'm praying now father across this place just help them the power of god is coming on people right now right now lord there are men and women who must drink of this wine i decree and declare prayer warriors prophets men who can hold on to the altar right now take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare there are those of you who have had dreams and visions of god using you i place an unction on your life right now carry that grace right now men and women take that fire help them please in the name of jesus christ those of you who are already in ministry heads of prayer groups campus fellowships leaders in the ministry here help that lady in the name of jesus drink of this wine may that fire rest upon you now in the marvelous name of jesus christ in this end time there will be an avalanche of the healing anointing whoever should carry that grace right now in this place take that grace take that anointing in the name of jesus christ take that grace help them please take that anointing by the power of the holy ghost now please hear me i didn't intend to bring them out but just quickly bring anyone under the anointing quickly in one minute 
so that I just speak over them. Please, whether you are an usher or not, let's, let's do it very fast, very fast. We just have a minute. In the name of Jesus, I'm still praying for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any dormant gift of the spirit that should find expression, probably you are a ministry, probably you are a worship minister. Please bring them out quickly, quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that fire now. Take that fire and active abakatos katakata. Bring take a baruska, a greatesh kodibalata. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. Let's make this very fast. I decree and declare fresh fire, fresh grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above all names, every dormant gift. There are women of prayer here. You used to see visions, you used to have dreams. But it's like that gift has died. I reawaken that gift right now. An ignition of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here who has the call of God upon his life, God has shown you that he's calling you to the ministry. I release grace upon you right now. Take that mantle, take that mantle, take that mantle in the name of jesus bring them out take that mantle by the power of the holy ghost help that gentleman please please help him now hear me there are those in this season who god is going to be using as financial apostles to fund the gospel for the kingdom i place a mantle upon you right now take that mantle in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ there are intercessors that god is raising some of you need to receive the grace that was upon another prophetess may that anointing come upon you the grace of an intercessor take that fire the grace to pray with fasting Take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dead church, every dying or struggling ministry, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you in the name of Jesus by the unction of the Spirit. Rise to a new level, rise to a new dimension. Every family here in Enugu every family represented that has been a victim of oppressions by reason of this conference i speak and i declare prophetically let there be liberty now let there be liberty now let there be liberty now the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of death if there is anyone here the embargo of death is upon you and upon your family I decree and declare that embargo is broken now. Broken now. Everything you have lost from January to November, I prophesy, let December be the month of recovery. I declare recovery by the Spirit of God. And anyone here suffering from delay, delay of any kind I cost that spirit now for all the workers in this church all who are part of this vision I lend my faith with your father the man of God and I declare be blessed in the name of Jesus be blessed in the name of Jesus hallelujah now listen for the next 30 minutes without distraction don't worry about those in front here i like you with with the kind of dedication of gideon's army we are going to begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit until someone tells you to stop you are praying to build your spirit man you are praying to connect to the spirit of the power of god in these end times lift your voice and begin to pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. 
subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 